There you go. There you go. Come on, start. Start right now. Argentina versus Vietnam. And hello, hello, Mickey. This is it. This is it. It's really nice civilizations. Hans and Japanese. Argentina versus Vietnam on the top. Yellow player and blue. Juan and Nikov against Bari. And Vienna's yellow. 31. Japanese. So Japanese versus Hans and Hans and um, Japanese Juan versus Hans Bari. So alright. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. Ah. <laughs> okay, so that's good. I need a minute, guys. Just don't go far away. I come back in a second, man. In a second. Yes. Okay, I'm a back, I'm a back. I don't know if I can stay or I will have to go. I hope I can finish this game. I don't know if I can if I can stay. But anyway, let's focus on the game right now. It's 2v2 Arabia. Actually, this is Dry Arabia. Okay. <clears throat> and let me see. Well, he's bringing the boar. That he has the... the yeah, four bullets on wood. Four bullets on wood as well. Three bullets on wood from Nikov. Interesting. And... Two volleys on wood to, for now to Vienna's yellow and doing now the mill. Seems he has 50 wood on the Lambert and he might try something different. Maybe he's trying to go super aggressive with mana tarms, super fast up or something crazy like this. But yellow might be careful because Nikov is surrounding with the scout. Might try to get the lame. Let's see. Let's go for Nikov point of view. We're gonna find out if he's gonna take it. He's sending the scout and... Uh, oh, 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 unit spy, let's see, unit spy. He's going, he's going right away, he has the lucky and he's gonna take the boar. No, oh my god, he's missing. He's missing for one tile, are you, are you kidding me? Look at this, and he's missing the boar from one tile. Look, crazy, oh my god, such a unlucky. And the bettings, we are going for the bettings. I am a noob. Who is going to win? Who gonna gonna win? Arch or Vietnam? Go, 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 bettings. Go, go, go. Four minutes to make the bettings. There you go. Oh God, man. Oh God. He could take the boar, but he, he didn't was really crazy man really now doing the barrack with two volleyers two volleyers on wood so he might go what let's check i don't know because he's doing now the farm already mining gold wow that be ordered four volleyers on foot on the berries with two volleyers on wood on i know four he has two lumber camps such a noob i am okay that makes sense right now Okay, and Nikov gonna go up 21, doing the loom, and gonna go scouts for sure, right? Okay, because he has already one farmer, so that's it, that's it, that's it. 
Go, 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 Andorin. Don't be a noob. Don't be a noob. Aha, victorious. What's up, man? Okay, let me check. Let's see what's going on. Scout going around. One, two, three, four bullies on on the berries and what 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 else, right? Juan is on the way also to feudal age. So both Vietnam going for trash, while both Argentinians are going for fast up. And now what the hell? Juan is going for the boar now. When he's up already, he took the deers and and one boar and then... I don't know man, I don't know. Well, he's trying, he's trying to, to land the billier. Nah, but he's not gonna take it. He's going super... Nah, nah, he's fine. He's more than fine actually. Three militias, one scout, going to, to Nikov. And Nikov is doing the, the barrack. Gonna make the stable probably almost in the same spot. Don't know if here or there going to, <laughs> to cover the gold. Where is he going to make? Yeah, on the left, right? Yes, there you go. He's coming with three militias and the scout. Another wolf. The wolves are so annoying. Now he's hitting with the scout, but be careful. Yeah. The wolf annoying is, is there, and now it's healing. Nah, he's going back. Half HP for that scout. Mr. VNS Yellow is almost in feudal age as well, so he's gonna make most likely men at arms. I don't know, depending if he's not losing any of them. Or if he's going to add more, right? Okay. What is Juanito doing with the Japanese? Doing archers. He's going for archers, right? Yeah. Might finish the, the house and then... Well, he's trying to hit the gold miners, but he's completely wall. So he's fine. He's fine. And at home, uh, Mr. Nikov, he has two ex scouts, one spear. That he has another... No, only two scouts, so... He might try to go and, and hit his economy. Well, he's walling. Mr. Yellow is walling and he's gonna wall everything. Well, that wolf might be annoying. And uh, maybe it will make some problems for him. Now Barry is walling as well on the left. He has also a little wall. He's gonna build here the military building. Let's go for Barry's point of view. Yeah, his resources. He's gonna go up Castle Age. Okay, so he's gonna go for Castle Age. Yeah, walling everything. He's trying to annoy him. He's coming with one archer, trying to kill the scout. Go away with the three militias. Because he's coming with one archer as well. So he's going far away from that place. Three scouts going to face now the scout and the three militias. And... Why do you think Germany A want to Brazil A? What did you say about why they win? Well, you... Germany A went to Brazil A because Brazil A thought you were going to lose easy. Okay, four scouts now. Yeah, going to kill all the militias, that's fine. And VNS Yellow, no, VNS Yellow is going to go full archers. Nikov is also going to go full feudal, or it seems so. He's already on go, so might go for, I don't know, man. If he's not adding another archery range, I don't really know. Well, Juan. No, now Nikov is going to kill one villager. No, he's not killing. Let's see. No, with the villagers and put outside more archers. Nah, he's gonna lose an archer for free. Almost. Yeah, he lost it. Sending now one spear and Barry. Mr. Barry on the way to Castle Age. He's gonna be in Castle Age 16 minutes and 38 seconds. Walling. All the front, so without well, Juan is going with fletching. Maybe with fletching, gonna reach some bullets on the goal. I don't think so, actually. And Barry is walling completely, so maybe Juan is going to go double. And if they're going to go double to PNS yellow, might be problems from for him. But let's see, it's at the limit with the resources because he's spending everything, he has five arches on the hill. And now, oh, let me check. Juan, Juan doing the wheelbarrow. Nick of resources looking very good. Doing also two archery ranges, but not doing any army. Not for now. Right? Oh my god, I almost killed my microphone. And Juan, yes, low resources because he's spending everything. He has okay farmers, not so much yet. 
And uh, well, he's he will go from behind. Yes, he's no other chance to go, right? Yeah, and he will try to break up. But now Barry and I will go to his point of view. We'll go directly cab arches, I assume, right? Yes, I think so. That he has fletching, I don't know because he doesn't have any military, any zero right now. Well, red, yes. Who is Vienna's yellow? Is walling. Botkin arrow, okay, that's that's strong and important, of course. With Botkin arrow, cavalry archers from three archery ranges, he might be okay. He might be really okay, in my opinion. Three archery ranges, so put the villagers on the TC. Now going to lose the scout. Bye bye scout. Yeah, in problems. Right? Well, population for 147. He has a uh, way more army because Parry actually he has only three archer, uh, only three caval archers. Will borrow from BNS Yellow? Well, let's let's check his resources are okay, but nick of resources are going to be pretty good. Well, they are pretty good already, right? Yes. Two, four, six villages on the gold, and what else? What else? Let me check. Hello, Cartman Bra, the best co caster in the history of AOC, man. Larry, I don't know. Barry, maybe. But Larry, I don't know. You know? GG. Okay, let's see the Cav Archers. He might go try to double Mr. Nikov. Uh, or might try to, to make the damage on, on Juan. Juan is not up to Castellate yet. He has army at home. Good amount of army. Also, he's walling with houses. And, and, be careful because he is there, he's patrolling, and, go back, he need to go back, yes. He's not, he's not an old, that, that cow archer, no, not really. DNS yellow with more population than Nikov, go back, now he's coming with more cow archers, maybe with that amount of cow archers, he might take the fight. Because actually he has more range, is plus two, super botkin arrow, super fletching, and now it might take the fight, yeah, and going now to kill villagers, right? Yes, man, he need to kill the villagers. Kill one, he kill two, now gonna kill the archers, yeah, this is a good micro, Barry doing the damage right now, completely going for three archery ranges, Full production, no another TC yet. He's going with more Cavalry Archers, so now he might do the damage on Nikov. He's going, let's see. If he's going to the wood, imagine what he can do, right? Let's go for Barry point of view. Fog of War, he's flaring, you see. They are flaring. And really, no, not there. Go to the second spot. Let's see, oh my god, he's going from behind. Going from behind, Nikov is now in Castle Age with... Good amount of archers and skirmishers forward, but he is there, man. But no, there is a bad spot. Well, he's gonna kill a villager, maybe kill another, no. And now if he's going to the wood, go to the wood, whoa, go there, man. Okay, let's see, Barry, Barry, Barry might do the damage, Barry, but move it, Barry. Oh my god, Barry, money low, Barry. Killing one villager. And now in the wood, that can be a disaster. That can be one billier down. Two billier down. No, he didn't kill it. No, yes. Two. Well, he has skirmishers, so he need to go back. But here also, wow. Barry is playing strong. Juan is now almost in castle age. He went for full feudal, so he hit a bit slow. Not super slow, because he's gonna be in castle age like 23 minutes. And in a 2v2, it's more or less okay. But Barry will have three TCs already. Three TCs with a lot of cow archers surrounding all the map. You know? Now crossbows from Mr. Yellow. So Nikov might be in some problems. He has lit skirmishers also at home and on yellow base. But let's see. Population is ahead to the Vietnam. And. And be careful, well, these skirmishes are, are working, are working, but now with the cab archers, let's see, Botkin arrows, crossbows, going just in the time that, that Juan is moving away, and... 
be careful. No, no, no. The archers might take the fight. Might take the fight. Okay. Going for the gold. Three TCs. One, two, three. One, two, three archer ranges. And now what? Okay. Mangonel shot. All oh, the Mangonel shot. He's gonna kill the, the army with the Mangonel. He has more TCs. Yes. Two tone centers, Mr. VNS Yellow. Whoa. No, the shot. Oh, open formation. Perfect one. Killing the army. Wow. That is a great micro. Killing all the units. Even if he has the Mangonel. Now he's gonna kill some. But. Yeah, man, he did a great job, in my opinion. Look at Nikov population, almost the same than Yellow. With at this point, it's great because he was also with the uh, Mangonel, and he got raided at home. But Nikov is doing now the second TC, right? Oh my God, he's just going in time to kill the Billiards, and he can be in time to destroy Nikov. Oh God, look at this! Yes, he is absolutely there, and he's killing the suckers. Look at this. Okay, but kill, man. One player down, two down. Thanks for the following. Three down. Wow. Well, he's doing the TC, but he's losing, man. He's losing villagers. A lot of villagers. Four, five. He's going back. Now going to the gold. Wow. With the cavalry archers. Well, man. Nikov is playing strong, but Barry is doing a massive damage right now. Mangonel now with cavalry archers. He doesn't have the uh, bloodlines, no bloodlines yet, but Villiers, number 56 for Barry and Jello, 39, 38, Nikov and Juan. Big advantage, no massive advantage right now from the Vietnam. Doing the thumb brain. Well, the teamwork is essential in 2v2. If you get one double, it's, it's a big difference, man big difference well Nico has the ballistic that makes that he's going strong against that army with the least skirmishers you know but if he finishes that is he doing a stable who is doing a stable aha he's sparring man doing the bloodlines for his cabal archers and the advantage in in the population is huge. Look at now Juan with one TC, one tone center, 40 villagers. 40 villagers. Now killing a lot of villagers there. Okay, that's good. But the mangonel shot. Let's see because if he's going to make a good mangonel shot there, he gets two mangonels then. <laughs> well, he's trying to kill, but with two mangonels, he's gonna make the damage. And if, even if he's microing well, open formation. Doing good job there. He need to repair the, the mangonel and he's gonna make the damage there or what? Population is exactly the same right now. Juan has a lot of army. Ah, oh, come on, don't drop at this point. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. <laughs> but the love is real come on don't drop man uh, a pause maybe okay it seems that can be a pause can pause it okay can pause it might be talking oh my god That team work in the start when he got fast cab archers and who went to Nikov make a good advantage. And also he he never forget to attack a bit to to Juan. So makes that Juan is now 23 villagers behind and Nikov 17 villagers behind. That makes that this game is in a clear <laughs> situation for Vietnam. The game is now going. Now look at the mangonel shot. The guy gonna kill everything. 
Yeah, man, killing all the archers right now. So now Juan lost a lot of units and is still with a lot of villages behind. Hand card from Barry. So the advantage is not huge. <laughs> Massive advantage right now. Look at the shot. Kill everything. Kill everything. Juan so behind. Now going to kill that volleyer if he noticed. He didn't notice right now. Uh, with the mango notes and... Okay. He didn't kill it, man. He went with more and more archers. And he didn't make any damage. 60 population. Juan don't have a second TC. Now is doing the second tone center while Barry has with three TCs like a long time ago. Yes. Long time ago. While uh, Nico has three TCs as well. One, two, three tone centers as well. From PNS Yellow. Stronger boy. And now what? It's a big, you no, know, huge advantage in terms also of economy and everything. <laughs> Military, wow. Okay, he, he's doing a siege workshop, but to try what? To try to push with 15 army while Barry has the same, but with the hands he can make more and more cab archers so cheap. So, let's see who is gonna get that fight, because it can be the game actually. We can see that Nikov is more or less close to population from other players, but Juan is actually really behind. He has the hill advantage there, he got the hill, the situation, university from, from Barry, why? Because I think he got two? No, no, he's doing it right now, okay. Nikov is there with some skirmishers, not big deal right now. Oh. That was a crazy, we missed it a bit, but look at the dead bodies and the mangonels. So one by one by also archers, crazy, parry ballistic, and with ballistic, botkin arrow, bloodlines, and everything. Those cab archers are crazy strong right now. Yeah, man, really, really strong. Okay. And now what? Let me check. Cav archers, skirmishers. Wow, crazy. One, two, my, well, two siege works up. Yeah, Nikov has also a lot of experience. So he knows that he's behind and he has to do something crazy. And he's going to go aggressive, really aggressive. But Mr. Yellow has few knights. So with the knights and mangonels and those crossbows, yeah, he's on the way to Imperial, man, on the way to Imperial, and Juan is going for redemption, he knows that he has to do something crazy, or, or it's just impossible to, to come back from this, impossible, this is a man, whoa, that man on from Nico, what are you doing, Nico, Nico, but Mr. Yellow, you don't see it, you don't see it, you're gonna lose it, what the hell, man, kill it, oh my god, look at that, yeah, and Nikov loud because it was crazy. And now, hit? No, he's not hitting it. What is he doing? Oh god! Well, in this spot, repair the mango now! Repair the mango now! He's not repairing. Now he's repairing. Wow! Sometimes I have the feeling that, yeah, man, it's a bit weak the multitasking. But now Juan needs to go back. He did the redemption for actually nothing. And at home he's killing a lot of villagers. This is absolutely over. Juan, I mean, Nikov is more or less, well, okay. Seems he is on the way to Imperial. I mean, Red is on the way to Imperial. Nikov is also really behind. But Juan, in this game, Leo! Big Titanic, man. Big Titanic right now. Well, it's complicated against a player like Parry and his Hans and uh, Juan Japanese. Not, not the best, right? But in the other spot, it's the same. And VNS Yellow is, is doing more than OK versus Nico. Yeah, I would say that he's really, really strong right now. He's in Imperial, 36 minutes. Minutes while Nico is not clicking Imperial yet. He has some good resources and he can also sell some food because he has a lot. But nah, he's, he's so behind right now. And the Imperial Age is there, so don't be so surprised that they call the GG, right? And the GG has been called. Yeah, that was a clear, clear 
really clear win from Vietnam. Let's check, 62 volleys, really low man, really low, while Juan loved to boom, 89 volleys from Nikot, while Barry and BNS Yellow over 100, economy, big difference, big difference, and military, a lot of army from Juan, the largest army, but he lost all, everything, while Barry killed the most, stay tuned guys, this is 1-0, and let me check if I can keep streaming, guys. stay tuned.